All right, y'all, we're over here at my good buddy's Ed's, and uh, we're going to take care of his Kenmore here. We're going to clean her out real good and get him set up for the summertime here. All right, y'all. Y'all, we're going to spray the old girl from inside out. The typical Sunday in Fern Creek. Okay, y'all, we've got our uh, wet bulb probe in here, and we're getting 66.7. All right, y'all, let me go ahead and hit enter. And what you do is you review, re, uh, remove this, your thermocouple. And then we'll go out there and get our uh, dry bulb. Okay, y'all, right there, get the outdoor dry bulb here, uh, 75 degrees. We'll press enter. And we're going to hit the output, and that's going to get us part of the degree. 22.2 yeah. Got everything hooked up. We zeroed out our testos. Our superheat now is at 17.4. Uh, we're allowed a plus or variance of five, so that's 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I'm gonna get it as close as I can. I'm gonna try to get it within one. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. We're out here at Ed's, and we determined our target superheat was 22.2. All right, here we go. We got uh, 53, 53. Uh, 53 PSI on our suction line. We got 201 on our liquid line. We've got uh, T1, which is suction line temperature, is 49.5. T2 is 81 or 80 uh, on the liquid line. Uh, evaporator is 28.6. Condenser is 102.2. Now we're looking for 22.2 for that superheat, guys. Now I'm allowed a plus or variance of five on R22 and a plus or variance of three on R410A. This is a 20-year-old Kenmore here. And uh, we're looking for 22.2. Let's see what we get. Well, looky there. 22.7, guys. 23. Like I said, I'm allowed plus or minus five here. I'm not going to nitpick with it all day. I'm within one degree, y'all. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. We'll holler at you soon. Bye. Man, oh man, look at the size of that puppy. Yeah, they drove that thing. Y'all got that all the way in the backyard over there, didn't you? Yeah. Too cool.